I would define academic integrity as just doing your best on your papers, on your homework, and not using someone else's work. Academic integrity to me would mean that a student is honestly and ethically representing their work, uh, particularly the work that they submit for a grade. Academic integrity is um, just doing your best and being honest in your work um, to be like the best student that you can and not shortcutting things. Integrity is important to me because it's something that my mother instilled in us as children. You know, be honest. Uh, you wouldn't want it done to you. That, I think, really stands out because you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to find out that somebody invaded your confidentiality or sold your information for a profit. It's, it's wrong, period. For the institution and for our division of student success, academic integrity means more than just what happens outside or inside the classroom or even what happens at the institution, but how well we can prepare students for other challenges, obstacles, and choices that they're going to make in life. We absolutely teach academic integrity as an integral part of our writing courses and that's because this is probably the first time a lot of students are using outside sources um, and often very complex intellectual sources uh, in their writing. They're, they're learning how to write a research-based paper and so um, it is one of the primary conversations and one of the ongoing conversations we have from day one um, almost until the end of the semester. And we have the librarians, we have the tutoring center, we have, well, just the teachers. We have all sorts of wonderful online resources. It's just, Heartland makes it very easy to cite your sources and find credible sources and everything. I think it's one of the best. I think some of the consequences that are fair for um, having poor academic integrity are, of course, the legal and academic uh, ones put in place by the schools, but also just personal and societal um, consequences because uh, if you aren't trustworthy or honest, then that's going to come out in your friendships and in work and in every other relationship that you have because people might not trust you. Fair consequences for violations of integrity uh, really depends on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, a lot of times as I look at it, I look at uh, what the student did and um, kind of the context that it happened in. Uh, in the past, uh, I, I've ranged from having a student redo something and I have a conversation about why they, what they did was wrong and how they needed to do it right. Uh, I've done a zero on the assignment. Um, well, I've also done enough in the course to uh, a fairly major instance where uh, I sent it on to the school's policy board and the stu student was expelled for three years from Heartland. Um, uh, most of them are small and fairly minor and we usually just deal with those kind of on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Some of the consequences for not having academic integrity at Heartland Community College can range from being disallowed services, like not being allowed to take tests in the testing center, not being allowed in tutoring or the fitness and rec center. It could also involve a failing grade for a project or a test, failing grade for the course, or suspension or expulsion. I would say that any time a student has a question about academic integrity, concerned about plagiarism, or any other thing related to academic integrity, the first thing they want to do is talk to their instructor, review the syllabus, review the policy for the course and for the project. The most important thing about maintaining your academic integrity while you're at Heartland Community College is that we'll set you up for that success in your future choices in life, in your career, in other institutions where you go to school. It allows you to meet those high expectations, to push yourself to achieve a lot of times more than maybe what you thought you could achieve. Trust. I think trust is a big, big issue with society, period. And in order to have that trust, other people have to believe in you. They have to know that you have that degree of integrity. I find a satisfaction in knowing that people can trust what I say and my word and my work and that I've done the best on the project or the assignment. Give yourself a chance 
to grow. Give yourself a chance to open your mind. Give yourself a chance to think and apply yourself. And so it might be a semester of struggle, and then suddenly you realize you're pretty good at this stuff, you know, and, um, and that this is really a metaphor for life, right? You know, I mean, school is like life. There's going to be pressures um, and learning curves and things that are stressful, but that um, it's all doable, but we have to give ourselves time to, to master that learning curve. Academic integrity is important, especially at Heartland Community College, because we value the learning that happens, not just the grades that students get, but if they perform well and are successful in their courses and have implemented academic integrity, they're going to be set up to achieve greater things in life.